Escher inside of main. It's just going to allow Trex to come up behind and catch a free kill. Not quite the second, though, as AIM letting them down a little bit. And Guild are going to struggle to get anything done here as it closes out 1-0 to zero to Vitality. Oh, this is great information for Sander. He knows there's a player close. And there's the peak, the punish, the safe goes down. Patient for his team so that they could left. go for that risky rotation in a round where they almost have to take a gamble. He's still fighting with 5 HP and a rifle. Like Normally, I'd be screaming for him to give it over to a teammate, but already managing to give a two-man advantage over to Vitality in their bonus. Guild need to fight back. Look at Kata up close as well. He's dashed on out. That's not an ideal fight. They need to take Trex down. He's got prime real estate to deny any sort of defuse going down. And this round is now just falling apart. Great play by Trex. Making up for some Long earlier mistakes. And now this round is locked in indeed. But Shadow soon to fall and put two to one on the board. Well handled by Gil. That round that they're in the space, dashing on in. They just pop a wall B, dash into the site, got control. Normally you'll see it on the A site. A lot of teams like to pressure on this attack, but Guild are already showing us a very successful B take with a 5v4 retake. <gasps> and Cold Amenta, he's using the wall. He's crept up behind Brams. That is a brainy play. That's as free as it gets. Russ, screwed. Good flash. Kata already finding another one. Shadow's got the biggest cross end known to mankind. Can he find a headshot with it? No, he can't. Maybe try a smaller one. Leo, early enough that. Vitality have to rush through a lot of the things that coming into this round are just up against pistols for the most part But Ooh. I mean that operator in the hands of Kadavra can do a lot of damage and with already a couple of kills going uh. their way All of a sudden they're favored to win this cat has been taken down Sender still has a rifle and you I cannot count exactly this man out he's when he's got a rifle grotesque unfortunately what I meant to one enemy remaining. Himself much. It's going to be safe already dropping Sender. And now, well, sorry, Shadow is going to be the one looking to lock in. Finds himself a rifle. Clearly that crosshair can hit headshots. And now he just needs one more. But safe will be there to clutch it out. The the normal ways to, to play this is to basically just ult almost instantly and try and lock it down. Trex, I, I think he's just been owned there. Like it was His teammate pushed in initially. And he's just found instead. Cold is actually going to be the one to use his ult to lock down the side of the fight. Shock Dart's going to go through and not really find them anything. Luck definitely not on their side to start with. And yeah, Bram's using his orb uh, to defend. Worked well. He managed to get a kill slow down the push. But ultimately, you know, he wanted to use that ulti then if they did push in for retake or something like that. But ooh, that has not worked out. And now they almost have no chance for Vitality getting in. They could easily get caught out. Instead, they managed to find the openers both. So, like, okay, let's... Let's make sure that we're as dominant as we need to be. And, oh, that's not gone well for Sender. Kata actually dashes into that. He, he goes to try and fight it. Well, the Seekers have shown that all the remaining players are on the other side of the map as well. So. Already looking at 6-2, so I suppose they're not too worried. Oh, I guess as the thing as well is it would be much, much worse. Fine. I'm fine with that. I'm so fine with that, it's okay. Look how far Russ has already got. Like... The the drone's gonna go past, but that's the thing. It spots the player close, but they have no idea that he's already gone through. That is such an oversight. He should not be able to get this far without anybody realizing that this is starting to look very, very shaky for Vitality. Okay, Shadow will eventually peek and take down safe, and they still have that Viper's Pit. Timing's everything, and Brams will win the duel. It's turned the round at least into their favor, and with Kata pushing spike aggressively, down, that'll be the spike down and another dropped. Well, this round for Vitality seems to be going quite well. They've got the spike yet again, and... Actually, Shadow will close it out. Like, it's a decent recovery. Oh, oh, man. that is an interesting Viper's pit. Sender's already behind it, and he's taking a double. This is absolutely ridiculous. I Gil trying to fight their way in the mid. I don't think I've ever seen that pit before. And Sender has just aced the round. So Slapping them down and put an inspector to play with here for guild. This isn't the best of times to really be getting up close and personal. Oh, wow. Certainly not the best of times to be whiffing the shots, but luckily, Rams has got that memo. He's able to take a double before falling. The B site comes with a heavy cost, and that cost just keeps on stacking up Leo. Drops the spike in the open now, and look at that. Trex is being spotted. Yeah, exactly where he is, and with a specter, he's oh, no. trying to close in that distance. Max Sender will do it for him. That's all right.
So he could just try and steal it, but I think he wants to try and even things up a little bit more before he does that. And Wildcat is not going to give him the chance. 7-5, you're not going into the map. Like, you, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty decent. Brams as well. This is ready for safe checks. Okay, he just goes up. He's like, all right, I expect you to be there. I know you're going to be waiting. It just gets a free kill. You've seen them. He's going to reveal that, though. The recon giving it away for now. The shock dart on the way, but oh safe. Keeps God. on delivering. He's already got three and leaving Shadow on just one health. The shock dart <laughs> chases him. Here, I feel like, I feel like, maybe I'm wrong here, but I think Zash knew exactly what he was doing. That's all I'm I saying. bet he gained loads of followers. <laughs> I bet he did. Crew could kill off any one of these players, so it is starting to get very, very scary. Brams, though, lands a shot onto Trex, and that could be the difference maker. It gives them a little bit of breathing room, a chance to get on the after plant, and while well, retaking with short range weapons is never going to be easy, this duel could be everything, though. Shadow is only on 24 HP. And he's down. Rifle to be retrieved here. Cold Amenta now has a good off angle to cover his teammate as they move up. In fact, that wall is great. It's going to lock them in the back site. Allow these players to start taking open fights. Brams does such a good job, though. Okay. Saving the right. A Viper wall there as well, but it's the B site that they look to push on into. Now they giving that well and truly away. Trex is trying to make it to the left side. Those players have pushed right past his utility by now. How have they still been caught? Why did they not destroy it? They revealed it. <laughs> I'm so confused. And Trex is able to just sideswipe and take this round. Thing to work with two rifles, a stinger, and pistols. They're gonna have to use their blade storm here on Kata, who's already pushed into the B site. And gonna look to take that control with the viper wall they've got down. It looks like it's gonna be a pretty clean plant at least. And that will be then a viper's pit. <laughs> Okay. Well, Vax just been wrecked. Like, that's the thing. They set up exactly the same way with the utility from Trex, but Trex was not there. So you could see the players basically looking to try and find out where he is this time, and they still haven't got rid of his cam. The, the players could just look to try and go for warbangs. A lot of damage has come in onto Brams. Shadow, though, and Brams are going to come up big. A shorty kill, something you never really want to see, but it's still happening with save, and he's right in the face of another. Brams is just using a stinger in his Viper's pit, and it's done a lot of damage now it's into that one versus one sender facing off against Trex. the time ticking down he's got that defuse halfway through but the cage is almost leaving this is a bit of a ruse from the cam making it clear that he's not on the spike and sender has played this one to perfection there is not enough time for Trex to do anything and it's going to be another there's a, only one real weapon weakness but i'm looking at guild to try and actually pick some of these players apart sender is incredibly well placed and while that's already a lot of teams will opt to try and play retake here but they just don't seem to have anything to get them actually back into the site afterwards camera taken out Trex there's one at least oh, but he's dropped right afterwards operator shot coming out of safe makes this much much more workable Sander and Kadavra having to hold on to it but that time is ticking away and these weapons looking to just save over inside of the halls inside of spawn but vitality and rush still have some pretty weak weapons spike planted his timer takes on you got to take the fight eventually it's not ideal with like you were saying those weaker weapons he's the flashes teammates coming out to cover the angles with that operator lock down a lot of the ranged ones look for the specters up close but russ and safe dealt with immediately one for tracks but they need more they need so much more and now they're starting to find it with Kata down, but the timer is really the, the biggest constraint here. And the Hunter's Fury is going to guarantee that, but hold on. That's going to get the kill. Okay. This should be done. 1v1. Already halfway to fuse, but Shadow's going to swing out. Hold on. Actually, it's going to be close. And he sticks it right under his nose. The time. To get aggressive, especially when you know your opponent's economy is somewhat on the brink. Fundamental, though, is in a little bit of trouble here. 49 HP. He's just going to get taken out straight away from back. And... Well, suppressed in the corner, an operator definitely not ideal for this sort of play. So the trade's coming through thick and fast. Again, this B-side for both teams has looked vulnerable. Leo will at least get one back, but it's at the cost of his teammate, Ross. As they start to close in the distance now, looking to avenge Russ. The angles are being watched. There's too many players for vitality on that back side and not enough for Gil to really, uh, not enough utility for them to push them out. At this point, Trex is just looking to save. At least you can imagine so. He's fighting a lot. 
He's gonna be able to get out of there. I'm not blaming him for pushing up. You want to recover your, your honor almost from the previous round, right? Shadow having that online this late into the round could be super useful, but he's about to take a risky fight as they push all the way through holes. And Rust will eliminate him now that Viper's Pit becomes so much more difficult to handle. Yeah, but they've got a lot of space around mid because of the amount of players that push safe. An idea, and even if he doesn't, he's going to go towards Cave to try and catch these eight players. They're about to meet each other, and it's Kata that ends up coming out on top as Russ falls. That is Cave secured, and Vitality, oh, well, with that op kill, they look set to take this round across the line. That was absolutely everything. Russ looks away for a literal second, and that's enough to give the space to Kata. Now Trex fighting back in. He's found an angle. That's some space into the site, knowing exactly where one of the remainder is now, especially with Kada. He can give the information over to Safe. He's looking to try and peek that with the Operator. Rams is still on the site itself, but that is filthy from Kada, who's going to close it out with the ace. Solely and entirely alone with the Bucky. Luckily, uh, Vitaly are going the other way, and they're going right into Safe, who's already taken the first, who's going in for more, and doing a massive amount of damage. A Shock Dart about to go through after that damage was done, and Brams falls, oh my god! Vitality are running into these pistols, and they're getting obliterated! Another one for Russ, and here comes a flank play! Sure, they've caught Trex, but there's still so many more to deal with. Well, I will say, Codamente has the worst flank weapon of all time, so all he can do is hold them in. He, he cannot push off of this, but it doesn't matter, because they're landing everything else! It's just a sheriff! Somehow, they win it anyway. Ludicrous. I am an A mate. I just really hate it. <laughs> well, you can see this time they're making sure that they destroy all of the utility. What? Okay, Leo. Uh, they are in a three versus five. Two players have 105 HP between them, and Kata is being isolated. It's Lapless Hunter's Fury. Can he do anything here to try and turn the tide? The answer is no. Going down nice and early on here in the pistol is killed. Just walk into the A side, really. Yeah, the, the, more of the same of what we saw. And on the other side, I think Vitality have gone for an early push. However, though, it is going to be Russ to start things off. Playing in that close angle in the corner. Looking to try and do as much as he can. In fact, Safe's going to have to go all the way around. It might not matter, though, because his teammates are doing a lot of the damage. He's got a long way still to run. They're just defusing. It is going to play the part, and there's nothing he can do at this stage. I don't know if he meant to go in the TP. I don't know if that was part of the... Expect to be running into this oh, they've kind of uh, buy. I like that. They've gone through the teleporter and split them apart. Picked off that first man in Russ, who is meant to be holding on to the bathroom's control. Now this is incredibly unsafe, but they have the teleporter just to go back. There is nothing. So we get a 3v3. The remaining players, well, at least two of them, do currently have some weaponry in their hands as well. And because Leo hasn't spotted anyone, he'll know where they're coming from. Oh, it's perfect! That is such a nice snake bite. Oh my god. Well, with that one going down, we're starting to look at a little bit of a better position to play for here for Gil. It's a two versus one sender. 31 health left. The shock dart almost catching him as he walks through this doorway. So many players left to find. He's going to use an orb, but look at the plants. It's not even for him. Oh, he thought it was going to be up close. Boom, most times. Unfortunately, in this case, well, there's, there's definitely other benefits to the jet. And for safe, he's actually only one orb away now from getting his blade storm for the next. Considering it will be a buy coming through, that's going to be a pretty big deal. And any extra kills that can come up here. Whoa, that's... This is now Earth the defuse. They've got a position to cover, but Shadow's way out in the open. That is not a favorable fight at all. Halfway defuse. Kata, now they know he's not on it. There's... Whoops. There's no reason for them to even peek on in. The time is going to do all the work for them. Remaining. Yeah, he cannot possibly get this. Still good damage in the end. What I will say here, Tom... I utilize them here to give them a chance in this round. And well, there you go. Yep, the Seekers are going to even reveal Brahms. They should know that he's close, and indeed they do. Taking him down in the end and clearing the site, or so they think. But Shadow sneaks his way in. Luckily, E2 will be detected. This will all fall by the wayside to leave a 5 versus 2. But that's the thing. Yeah, the Seekers went through as well for the defenders. So they, they knew the push was coming. Cross back from Shadow. And now they're going to get aggressive. They're just waiting for this. It, it's so... Down on the cross. This recon's already gone through and it hasn't even found a tag as they just cross on over. Ten seconds left Ten as the plant goes left. down. The shots would have to be gorgeous because he's inside planted. the tube. Nice and safe. Nice and secure. Time not going to be a problem for Guild now, but they have lost Trex. And with that, look at Sender. <gasps> 
He's caught Cold Amenta. He's actually cleared the angle. The Hunter's Fury going straight down through the tunnel. It's free as can be. Safe. Good for one, but he has to find three. One up in. Hookah still will be caught on the way out. Safe. Looking to clutch this now in the 1v1. Still with a dash online. And a headshot to close it. A 1v3 for safe. The thing is, it's, it doesn't even feel like sights have trying. been their issue more yeah. so. <gasps> Perhaps he's gone through the smoke and blinded up at the last second. Russ is able to get the kill. Oh, I cannot believe what I've just witnessed. That's, that's actually absurd. Again, owned by the because oh, of the oh. first play. <laughs> Oh, your rack shock darts are coming on through, and he'll get out of there with his life. The showstopper ultimately serves no purpose, and now he's and waiting. Oh my God, Mac! <laughs> it's just being played by Safe. A classic takes him down, and 5v3 we stand. Vitality desperate for a round. My God, they just can't get anything. But Shadow, this could be it. No, I don't think it will be. 46 health remaining. This round is well and truly done. Uh, like, yeah, yes. <laughs> well done, Tom. Uh, he's going to be caught. The second player here, though, Brams. Good for the trade. I'm just ready watching. Although it was. It's actually rotated through. Sender's going to win the fight. A decent cosmic divide to make those battles. Economy-wise on exact numbers, but I'll say strong. Guild. Uh, not going to be too worried about losing those rifles. In that big 2 or 3k, here comes Brams. If they check for this, I think it's safe to say that Guild's brains are just too big, but they've been caught. Only for the one. Need that back. Yeah, back regressed as well. Managed to catch on, and well, that has a risk in its own. Leo has already taken the first, and he's somehow drop shot here. So who we got? We got oh, okay. Back is still alive, so I guess maybe a nade comes in, something like that. It makes a lot of sense for Leo to just not risk it. Yeah, with the 33 HP and a hunter's fury, he doesn't want to be throwing that round away. And although. They do a lot of damage. 30 HP on both of these remaining players. One of them is Trex, who's keeping... Oh, no, he's been caught. He was trying to bounce his way out. Kadavra getting his health back up now. The Hunter's Fury won't take him down in just the one burst. And he's already halfway defused on this. Oh. Leo's going to hurry up. He's going to get it all the way. Kind of just sneaks it okay. out underneath his that nose. Pros don't... Keep them went in the other direction. And you can see the Seeker's incredibly confused, but... Because one has been destroyed, they might not expect back to still be here. He's going to line up a couple, finally stepping up to the plate and putting a couple on the board. There's still another for him to deal with, and Cold Amenta will at least put him in the grave. With Safe shutting down Shadow, now they need a big return. The Hunter's Fury goes out searching for a couple of players, and although Kato ends up on 70 HP, there'll be no taking him down just yet. Two versus three. These players... Out of charges. As of yet unknown, but Leo's about to reveal himself. They know exactly where he is now. That reveal, not going to do all too much for him. And he's being pushed from behind. One versus one, but Sender catches him. Just make through Hookah. And they're now uh -oh. looking to push there as four. But the problem is the one guy who's alone is Brahms. And he gets shut down. The site control now completely in the hands of Vitality, though. So it's a, a trade-off, I suppose. Yeah, they're going to have to go for a bit more of an awkward plant, though. Because they can't go for default because they don't have any long control. So they have to try and plant for the spawn and they don't have that control either. Or at least for now, Cold Ament is still waiting and he's only going to get one. That's an important clear. The the trade out of players is definitely worth it for Vitality. Enemy mark. With low HP on a lot of these guild guys and now they're stuck on long. This is looking like the pistol that Vitality needed has been secured. Nice and easy to finish off these last remaining players. And there it is. A fifth bound and Vitality like... It's really shocking me that it's 45 seconds left when the plant goes down. I feel like they've been here for 30 and the shock dart because of those rotates having come in. That utility is so much more accessible. Why is safe up here? How is he up here? Does, does Sender have an idea? He might have heard it. Feel like he's overstayed his welcome a little bit. Skirmishing behind this wall. We talked about time earlier on. There's only 15 seconds left. And the spike has again spike been dropped. A. Time to attempt it again for Vitality. The left. time. And they have to just do it now. And this has to be huge by Brams. And he's actually holding the front line. Allowing the spike plant to go down. That is incredible. I thought that they're backs against the wall. Backed into a corner. I didn't think they'd have any chance. But now they've got a 2v3. Oh, almost a little bit more. Shadow leaving a player low. Rams needs this jewel and he's going to take another. And look at Sender. He's got the timing almost perfect. Just wrapping back around. Brams is going to peek, but he's almost just buying time for that last man to come through. Instead, though, it looks like he's going for the lineup. So 
It's just going to be an early setup to try and claim that. And then the rest of the rounds reset. Now you can still see a, a little bit of a jiggle peek from Russ, just trying to spot information. And uh, the Tiger, I believe, will have actually seen one player safe, though, has just decimated Vac. And now Trex has killed off Brams on the other side. <gasps> but safe, attempting to leave his safe. More importantly, they want to be peaked right now. They want a defender to swing on in. They'll get the plant in the end. Securing it completely, putting up their orbs, but that's when the flank comes through from Russ, and he takes a quick double, leaving Shadow. Do practically nothing in this. I mean, the time definitely against him. They know exactly where he is and where he's moving as he steps around the corner. Trex quickly deals with him, giving Guild their first round. He's in her in hand. Oh, the timing on that as well, just as Astra goes into her Cosmic Divide, but Safe still hasn't peeked around the corner, only now rounding it, there it is! Grimes goes down, and now we'll move towards the side itself, the Showstopper. So you can have while you're in a Viper's pick, if you get hit by it, your position is revealed. Most of the players doing quite well, but Russ straight in there managing to clear one out. Sender has also had to leave his Viper's pit, so if he's there for too long, it will dissipate, although that may end up being an advantage. Shadow catches out Trex as he pushes as well, and it's just trading back and forth. A three versus two in the favor for now, but back. He springs his trap straight out the back. Hold him into going through with the judge, though, will drop him, and now it's left all on to Sender, and he will be caught as well. The only problem could be the time, but there is plenty of it available for Guild. A lot of... Not having that coming into the next. Up he goes again. Safe now in trouble. Oh. He's just going to get out of there. Only just. He's only mm. <laughs> he got 42 HP. Oh, my God. A little bit of judge on judge. Toxic this cold event is going to wrap back around and kill off Vac. Poison's it's not gone. something you say. Three players within this B site. It's a three on three as they try and enter it. I think they might have spotted safe. A rust, sorry, but apparently not, because he's able to just sideswipe for a triple. Most definitely are. Not in this fight, though. Safe has been dropped immediately. Brams showing up yet again. It's on the Guardian this time. Rex gets tagged up on his way through, down to just 79 health. Colda. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. And, a, <laughs> and apparently, I'm saying Colda Man is even shallower. So, a pretty big task. No ulties to play with. It's up on the retake as well. Oh, I'm not really feeling it for Trex. He's about to be pushed on and eliminated. Brams slapping him in the face with his barrel first. There. Oh my god, Leo. He doesn't win this. Surely he does. 1v3. Oh, he knows, knows there's a player are. in the close corner. He knows where every single player is right now. He knows the shadow's close. He saw the other player afar and Sender's been firing in utility. Brams did this is easy. Yeah, that one pans out safe. Going for a little bit of an attack of his own. Pushing on down middle and eliminating back. Bailing it. 30 seconds left. Well, as you heard, 30 seconds are left on the clock in Vitality. Have to make a move now. There's almost no time to switch you up directions. Cosmic Divide committed. Oh, and here's the push. Bravwell slows them. Leo and safe showing up for a double. Hunter's Fury not doing what it needs to. Because with 12 seconds left, Shadow's all alone. And he has no chance of getting out of here. With a win, at least. Let's see if he can even get out alive running towards the bathroom. Try and save this operator, but they know what he's got. He gets the, he gets the all. T-World timing from Cold Amenta. It was just a chef's kiss. It was beautiful. Like, just denied them as they tried to push. All on the table. Here and now, see what you can get done. Now, Hunter Fury blindly deployed, but they knew they were coming through mid. The Gravwell caught back. He's down to 70 HP. Shadow barely holding on on 20. That heal not coming through, sadly. But Cadaver now gone, and everybody else following. It's left to Brams, trying to clutch this out with the off, but he will not get it done either. Safe, he didn't ever abandon it. He's always playing it. Oh, the wall goes up, and the dash is already in. Kata behind enemy lines, but Leo spots him, and Brams falls right after. Things are looking good for Vitality here in the pistol round with some strong duels going their way. Or, for Gil. Names are swapped. Yes. <laughs> it's gone, it's gone the guild way. And safe. He's been so good in the pistol rounds with this sheriff. The only man left to send her. They haven't actually spotted him. But Trex, well, even leaped with surprise. Those SMGs in play. Going for these retakes, taking these ranged battles. Sender just shutting down a couple of players. The flashes on the timing. Shadow used up all his utility. Now they have nothing left to work with on vitality side in terms of util, but that's when they watching for vent room, but safe. It's a perfect opportunity to use this blade storm now. Get up close to them. This guild defend up in heaven, buying the time for that blade storm to come through. But they're watching for it. Sender, wise to his tricks, picks up the flank. 
and now a 4v3. Guild on the back foot, and Vitality can take this wherever they want with all the information to play with. Oh, Russ needs to go absolutely huge once again. He comes up with two. He gives Leo a chance. The last player is low, and that's the spike on the ground. Plant about to come through just as he's rounding the corner. That'll be when Brams is backing off, but Brams still wins the fight. The roster is something that I know a bunch of other teams, Alliance included, uh, when I was on that roster, tried to acquire him, uh, as a player when... Okay, um, why, why have they got two kills already? Not Guild again. should not be. No, they shouldn't need to use it, but it is huge. It doesn't matter, though. One of the jewels has been isolated, and because of that, Safe has gone back. He gets a oh! kill here. The round is over, and he lands the headshot onto Shadow. That's the spike on the ground. It's done. Brams might be a clutch king, but he's not winning this one, and they know he's trapped in the corner. He's saving to buy into, so they're going to be good economy-wise. Now, you can see the rolling thunder being set up. The flash is going to be put through, but that's where the judge comes into play. Good trade from Rush. He actually gets a second as well. This man is so good at just getting doubles out of absolutely nothing now he's been stunned up but he should be all right by the time they actually come back into the site the flash gonna make things a little bit more awkward and bram's looking to try and wrap back around but cavalry's arriving sheriff in hand i don't blame you 10 seconds left time to die and get your money was punished. that was it with the mcnuggets <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Sue's yeah. just messaged us. It's a it, It's, it's a genius go. play. I wouldn't mind being the, uh, getting some free McNuggets. Send her, though. After already finding an open... I, I wonder if this is just going to come down to them trying to hold Spike them into planted. the side. To, to even think about going for this. Uh, Coldemander's got a good opportunity. He's hearing lots of stats. Oh, no, he doesn't. He does not have a good opportunity at all. He's been off. Hey, nice and clean by Vitality. Guild, I would consider that a good half of Vitality, especially with the way outside of B, so that's information. They've also now killed off the one player in mid, which is the Lurk. They have He's holding. He can dash down into the vents nice and safely. Here comes a showstopper looking for the site itself. Gravwell, Dane, Kata going to be dropped. Here's the play for safe, but Brams catches him. Left on 10 health. Vac low as well. No time really for them to get this done. This should be an easy cleanup for Gil. seconds left. I've seen Vac go towards the site, but there, there is simply no time. Uh, look Leo? at Russ as well. It, 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 it may not even matter for this peak because they know that the flank's coming through anyway. Brams, this needs to be a truly ludicrous play to try and get anything done in this one. They are waiting for him. Beautiful whiff from Kota Menta. I see a duel into safe, but he's actually missed. And now he's stunned on site. Blade Storm stun. out to try and defend. That's a gorgeous stun, but he's still alive. And the Flash will catch him as well. He's being hit by every single piece of utility, but they haven't managed to clear him. Everything that came through, and then the rotation's there as well. Leo, Kota Menta putting another couple in the grave. And while it will be closed out again by Guild, again, I... I the, the slow in play as well is almost just ratty. And while well, running straight into Leo, he might get caught in a graph well, but it doesn't even matter at this point. If anything, the remaining players either need to save or die. The rest of the ults, I don't think going to be, well, that impactful, that close by to be pulled with that. I, th I don't think they're going to expect safe to be pushing. He tanked some of that aftershock, and he's right behind them already. That rolling thunder buys them a little bit of time, but ultimately it comes down to safe's timing on whether this will be closed out. Maybe it comes down to the Odin of Coldamenta, who's on site just demolishing them. And this round, surely done and dusted here. Back, oh. the final man standing now in a 1v3, and they know exactly where he's going to be coming from. Holding the angle is here, who is about to be infuriated. Russ, don't you take that knife out, thank God. He finishes him off with a pistol. 30 seconds left. Yeah, they've still got to deal with Kada, though. One more defender on this side. Let's see what he can do. A first kill, at least. We'll put it into a three versus three when the retake begins. But the site has been lost. A plant guaranteed. And, and that's the thing. The remaining players don't know what angles are held. With Rust being that far forward, they have no idea where the remainder are. Safe taking a big oh! risk. Of plant flies! What? Two for one. They didn't even need that little lucky shot. But the fact is now, Shadow is all that's left. A one versus three to try and bring something back. And while even when opportunities are put into his hands, he's not going to get anything. No There's match. one. Sneaking around towards the site, the right click actually does a little bit of damage. Both were on 74. It was tap a few bullets through Shadow with a Bucky. Like, okay, there's one. That's something at least. A little bit of a gap within the wall, and he's going to delay them at least a little bit. A chance here for something, and he's still doing a lot of damage. Some seriously low players on the other side, but Safe is just running Riot. Finally, he's put into the grave and gives them a chance, but there's only Sender left.
Oh, he's managed to recover a rifle, though, and down goes Trex, low HP for Russ. And even Cold Amenta won't last too long. There's the first dropped already, but he'll be killed oh. in the end. Sender comes so The one save rifle. They do have the benefit of the fact that Safe managed to nigh on kill half the team, so he's now got himself a blade. So <gasps> a little bit low. That is all really, really strong start. Killed. Lose another player here on me. He kind of just backs off. He doesn't want to mess with that blade storm. And then he does. And that's that's why okay. he didn't want to mess with it. Yeah, you don't give him a, a tight angle to jiggle peacock for that's the chance for safe to now turn this back on his head. What was the lifeline? Could still become dangerous. The steps through. Safe found another one. He's left this B site open, but the spike's been dropped. And now he needs to do something truly yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. He goes through it and just gets another one. This really is falling apart. This should have been over by now. Ridiculous. I, uh, safe is on 22 HP. He's picked up a Guardian. Now he's close. A Bram. Oh. Been closer to the site. There's the first spotted up top tracks. It's a very good idea of what's going on now. But Bram's is a little bit too quick. Vitality find a... Are to streak together this many rounds, they better be damn good versus the rifles and even better versus the pistols. But they've taken the first two to start with. Rez comes through right after, though. After Leo finding that kill in the previous round, he had this online. Oh, nice that back. was sick. Spike down, B. Nice little angle to manage to find a kill back. Still, though, it's even. Kata coming in with a blade storm. Oh, he almost gets caught out. And Vax still just having to survive alone on the site, but he's doing a great job of it. Nade even goes back out, recovered after a couple of kills, and Sender just misses the timing. I don't know if they will have heard him from behind. It leaves Leo alone, and this time there's nothing he can do. The person who's been ulted, and they actually get very little for it. He's not cleared out. They do rotate back into the B site, though, and we'll have a decent amount of players here. Russ has been caught on the way. Kata with the op delivering, and he's got two teammates to cover his crossover. Brams now standing alone as the only cover. E3 looking very, very difficult indeed. As these players are just lined up and waiting. Brabs misses the first shot to peak in heaven. Not going according to plan. Trex is being given an opportunity here. Oh, this would be such a devastating round for Vitality to lose. The spike. the spike has been retrieved by now. And Trex has a choice to make. 30 seconds 30 on the seconds clock. Left. Barely any time to rotate. And he won't hit the shot. Now again, this is a full stack outside A. I think this is a complete pace change. And well, not expecting it up to be there, I guess. Considering the setup from Vitality, they're, they're reading into this. They're expecting Guild to come for it. Three players around here, no mid control at the start of the round. They thought after the eco that Guild would have gathered the information. Hey, A's kind of weak. We can get in there with pistols, with specters. Let's do it with rifles. So Vitality sit on the site and say, yeah, sure, dude. You want to come A? Go ahead. They mow them down. Guild running into that stack early. It was a gamble. They rolled the dice on what they thought was a clear weakness, but Vitality had already made the adjustment. They patched up that hole, and Guild got utility that should lead Guild to victory, but so far that hasn't been the case. Rams in trouble. One kill and traded out. Site now open. There's only one player here to stop, and it's Shadow. He's going to ult, and he's all by himself. He has to deliver on this, and he's going to be putting an aftershock, but they've evaded it entirely. He slowed them, though. He's run that clock down. Russ in the back lines, though, is the big problem because he's now going to catch back. Swinging a little deeper, but Kata shuts him down. And now Ooh. Shadow almost had the timing, but Cold Amenta went back to check it. Vitality on the back foot. 2v4. Goodbye. 2v3. Trex caught. Hop shot. Not landing. Bladestorm comes out. Kata not able to deliver. And he in overtime. I know that there'll be some people who might know this name, but there is a... A, pro a producer Reese from Face It, who... But now he's pushing forward right into the full force of Guild. Oh, Getting out of there is going to be tough. The dash buys him that little bit of extra space. And he's away before they join him. Seekers on their way. He destroys them with the op. Now they're close. Safe looking to punish that operator right up in his face. And he'll get the first following up for more. Safe is a madman now on sight. Planting the spike as Shadow wants to get back in. But there's so many players oh, no. here. And he's caught with you till in hand. The showstopper, the last ditch attempt by Vac. It's found basically nothing so far. And it'll get nothing oh, done again. Oh, oh, oh. Vitality are being dismantled at the last second for 13 to 11.